in the previous video, our vampire Edward fights a sewer beast. He then retreats the Bible message from the thug. He then travels to the White Chapel. This is where Jonathan's night begins. Alright guys, we are back again. On to reach White Chapel. Like says up there. I guess it's not this way. On the previous video, you guys remember I was fighting that ugly beast. That beast was pretty tough. Okay, guys, I'm not gonna lie. Where is it located? Look like I, look like I'm taking this way. Pembroke Hospital. Oh. Nice. Where were all you guys when I got jumped? Mm, my stamina's got better. Alright, look like we're going this way. Enter at your own risk. Okay, where do I need to go? All this sounds very, very creepy. guys are like the brute. Swap my triangle. My triangle doesn't look like it's effective enough. Equip. How do I equip that? Oh, okay. I think that's how I equip it. Yeah. I keep that a stake. Okay. Like regeneration stern. Okay. All right, that's what I needed. I need to heal. It's like I balance out my blood too. Looks like. And these guys are more and more of these bloody leeches every night. No good place for a stroll. It is good. Where's the leech? Get it! I'll kill you. I always want to get rid of these guys.
escape. Can I Shoot. It's not good, guys. Let me return. Maybe I could make my way up there. You gotta put away your, your sword though, my man. Alright. Got somewhere. Got some I'll get up there. Alright, that's where I want to be. It's locked, alright. You gotta be kidding me. When did you join the guard? Alright. Finally. Oh. I could get through here. White oh. Chapel. This neighborhood is linked somehow to the kind Lady Ashbury's blackmail. First, let's find this Petrescu fellow. He said there's a height on his area? Leave me alone. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I'm looking for nurse Dorothy Crane. There is no Dorothy Crane here. Now, goodbye. I'm afraid this medical leaflet says the opposite, sir. Really? 
Well, I'm afraid I'm going to close this door right now. Go bother someone else, Mr. Doctor. To enter that house, I must discover who this man really is. Maybe I could start by observing what he's up to. Okay. Strange man was at the door with the pass for our medical facility. I refused him entry. Darius, how could you know he didn't need our help? His clothes were too finely tailored to be for Whitechapel. Perhaps just a friend of that stray poet who is always about. Richard Nidercott? No, not of the same cloth, this man. I suspect some machination from that journalist. Clayton Darby? Is he still asking questions? Yes. I saw him drifting around St. Mary's Church. I swear he is tracking me just downwind. What is she hiding? I cannot enter. I must talk to that journalist or the poet. They must know about Darius. Nearby the church they just mentioned. Nobody at home. All right, spooky area. Hi, how you guys doing? I'm just looking for some, all right? Run! Oh, snap! <sighs> Sorry guys, wrong neighborhood. Alright guys, so we're not going to that spot no more. It appears that they can kick my butt. This looked like the way we, we might have to go. Just act casually. Alright, no one's here to beat me up. Find Clayton. What do I know who's Clayton? Sir, are you Clayton? Excuse me, sir. I have a few questions for you. Another journalist? I didn't answer the first one, so piss off! I'm not a journalist, I'm a doctor. A doctor, you say? It's quite a rare breed in this part of town. Really? But still, here I am. Dr. Jonathan Reed, at your service. I'm Joe Peterson, to some. But Colossus joke the most. And I don't remember asking for your service, sir. Have you heard of a nurse named Dorothy Crane? She's a colleague of mine, and is supposed to live around here. Dorothy Crane? Yeah, I know her. One of the few good souls who dare to help the sick around here. Could you please tell me more about her? She's a nice girl. Tries to help the migrants. I offered to give her a hand, but she said my reputation would attract too much attention. Goodbye, Mr. Peterson. Alright, so he's not clean. Let me ask this fella. Welcome, sir. Please, take a browse of my wares. I am Dr. Reed. I would like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. Doctor? Interesting. I'm Barrett Lewis. Usually I don't have time to waste with talk, but at this hour of the night I can hardly refuse. Goodbye for now, Mr. Lewis. Alright, I'm just looking for clean. I don't want... You know, to put you guys through just watching me ask questions half the time. Forgive my interruption. Do not apologize, my son. Father Tobias Whitaker is always happy to teach mortals about the incoming Armageddon. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed, and I just have a few questions. A scientist? You are much more lost than I thought, my son. I have heard enough for tonight. Goodbye. Okay. Oh, 
are you, sir? Excuse me, sir. Are you familiar with this part of town? Name's Clayton Darby, reporter. Oh, Sorry, I'm new to Whitechapel. But perhaps you could help me, since you're a journalist. My name is Jonathan Reed. Dr. Reed, the famous surgeon. I'll gladly help if I'm able, sir. Why are the newspapers keeping silent about the Spanish influenza? It's as though none of you care. There's a war going on. People shouldn't be demoralized by news of deadly diseases. It's a disgrace. People are left to die alone. No one is properly informed of the risks. These are bad times indeed. So much for the glorious British Empire. Have you any idea of the danger you face in these streets at night? I've had to run and hide more than once from frenzied mobs incensed by the fever. Do you think the flu is really responsible for this, Doctor? I'm convinced there is more at work here than a simple epidemic. Really? To be honest, I could say the same. Some of the sick I saw or heard of. My God, what happened to them? What is a journalist doing in this borough after sunset? He goes where none of his colleagues would dare to go. To inform the country. So you risk your life to reveal the truth. I saw many reporters do the same during the war. Whitechapel is the crucible of so many untold stories and tragedies. I want people to know them. That's quite honorable of you. But is the public interested? Not at all, sir. And that's why I'm an independent journalist, hoping to sell some stories. I heard you're investigating an underground medical dispensary in Whitechapel. What do you know about it? Not much, I'm afraid. They are weary of strangers, and I'm not really an acquaintance of theirs. Why do you care? I'm a doctor, Mr. Darby. I care about everything involving public health and this epidemic. Are you sure you're not just concerned about the repercussions that a scandal involving a certain nurse crane from the Pembroke Hospital would bring? Without a doubt, you are a damn fine journalist, Mr. Darby. What do you know of her accomplice, a man named Darius? I don't know much about the man. He's very cautious, never goes out, doesn't seem to have any friends or family. He never goes out? No. A few days ago, he unexpectedly did. I followed him, but it was just a ruse to keep me away from his house. Really? How do you know? He went to the nearest mailbox, but just before posting his letter, he ripped it up and threw it away. He has no relatives at all? No. Except for that strange man, a poet named Richard Nithercott, who sometimes comes by. Darius would never let him in. Where can I find this Mr. Nithercott? He spends most of his time lurking around Whitechapel, talking to himself or declaring verses. These days, you can usually find him behind the church. Goodbye, Mr. Darby. Farewell. So behind the church, he says, huh? Yeah, I'm just gonna like do the quick dialogues in the yellow just to make it quicker so I don't go into too much detail just to talking just for the video and you guys I know you just want to see me get my butt kicked from these skulls and big freaking monsters excuse me pardon me it's locked and read it yourselves. The content of Darius' letter to his children could give me more leverage to... Enter. 
if I could get in here, but... Can I talk to you? Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Reed. I'd like to ask you a few questions. I know what you're thinking. A tall stranger who meets a girl in the street at night. It reeks of the penny dreadfuls. But I mean you no harm, truly. She can't speak. Very well. Goodbye, then. So, this lock... I cannot enter. Where come from? Old room. Fourteen. Nope. Not going that way. Definitely not going that way. So it looks like we might have to go all the way around just to see. Because I'm not ready to fight these guys. Unless there's a way here. Oh man. I, I just don't like it when I can't find a way here to the other side. Unable to see the true horror around you. I hope I can get. Okay. Seems like I can get through this. Level 10, I can handle this guy. are too much in the way back to what I was doing see I now I could get through here okay this is a creepy backyard to be in you must be Richard good evening sir I'm Dr. Reed I would like to ask you a few questions please be my guest although I may not be the best informant regarding this part of town my words speak about that which the eyes cannot see Really? Are you an artist of some kind? I'm a poet, sir. Richard Nithercott, at your service. May I ask you a few questions about the district? Extraordinary part of town, is it not? I'll be glad to help you, if I can. What can you tell me about an old man called Darius? Darius Petrescu? Yes, I know him. At first, I thought he was only a small publisher. I invited him to publish my work, but his reaction was pretty clear. Not interested in your talent? Darius is an old political activist who takes delight in printing tracts and lampoons. Those communist activities only require mediocre writing skills. I'm looking for Dorothy Crane, a nurse who lives in this vicinity. Dorothy Crane. Oh, I love the name. The Crane of Whitechapel. Sounds very mysterious. But, sorry, no, never heard of her. I'll leave you alone, sir. Darius right. is a bit less of a mystery now. It should not be that difficult to incite him to let me in. Now back to Darius' house. Very 
is no protection against the price. Good morning. Come on, oh, take I a thought look. I had to <laughs> battle. I had to check out. <laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna end the video there. So Jonathan gets some answers he needed for Darius and tries to find a way into his house. But will Jonathan encounter next? Who will he meet? To be continued.